Yeah, the last question I have is what impact, both good and bad, did the last resort memes have on you guys? Oh, it's been uh, it's been amazing. All the memes are sick. I love them. I've been I'm one of the guys like I used to take myself very seriously back in the day. And then message boards came around and I was like, oh, my God, they hate me. And then I was like, no, fuck the message boards. Don't trip. Move on. You know, you believe in what you do. You're passionate about what you do. Believe in yourself, Kobe. Do that. So it helped me not take myself so seriously. And then when the meme came around that said, cut my life into pizza, I was like, <laughs> yes, we've, we've made it. Like yeah. when something, when you can like clown something, make fun of something, take the piss out of it. It's, it's, but don't dilute it at the same time. I don't think it is, man. No. I think it's, 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 it's fun. And it's, I don't know. I look at, I don't take it too seriously. I'm like, yo, culture's celebrating it, whether they're taking the piss out of it or not. It's like we've embraced it totally. because it's like every time somebody sees that one of those memes pop or, or cut my wife into piece, pieces, this is my last divorce. And it's got like the dude from uh, Jack Nicholson from The Shining, like putting his head through the <laughs> through the wall. You know, it's like those memes. I just I dig them, man. It's it's a it just means that we're embedded in pop culture in Absolutely. more ways than one. So. Can I ask an honest question? Like, did you do you guys own that song or who? So when TikTok was started to pop off, we went and re-recorded our probably like five or six of our OG songs re-recorded. Who told you to do that? We did. So smart. Yeah, we're, we've been knowing to do this for years. So we were just like, you go re-record your cuts and then find a find a way to re-release them. Well, TikTok was popping off, and we released our twenty year celebratory version of it. Amazing. And that's what people are using on TikTok. But you still see money from the original. Oh, right? absolutely, yeah. dude. Mailbox money for yeah. day. I'm just, it's like, I, you know, I'm putting kids through college. I was going to say, like, do you have any idea of like how much money you've made from that one record? Uh, like that one record has like, generated? Uh, a plethora of dollars. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it could be tens of millions, if not more. Yeah. It's, it's, it's afforded me a good life. And it's a f honestly, that song has given me an opportunity to continue to come back and, make and take another whack at it oh. every time. It's like, I've got this like Aerosmith fought for years to have. Uh, dream on right Eminem got lose yourself Papa Roach we got last resort it's like an iconic classic in our in our in our repertoire that we can rip out anywhere you know I could be walking through an airport and just sing it out loud and I'd be like you know everybody and somebody would respond back to me <laughs> you know what I mean and so it's uh it's I'm so grateful for that song I don't look I'm not the type of artist that looks at the success of a song in that way and scoff at it you know i don't give it the radiohead treatment where i don't want to play creep live like it's not how we do it it's like give the people what they want uh, you'll yeah. play it in a fucking airport Shh, let's go yeah. dude. come on no because like it is you should be proud of something oh, that has God. given you access i mean really yeah. like you can never have another successful song ever and it, be cool it doesn't fucking matter yeah but we have, and that's yeah, what's been, like so you cool. said, Scars, it's like, I've got an award, Scars actually charted higher on pop radio wow. than Last Resort. Scars yeah. was like, went top five. <laughs> we got a, yeah, so we got some accolades on that one, and that was like, you know, another time, the industry kind of was like, what's this Papa Roach band? And we're like, nah, we're not done, the story isn't over. And here we are, breaking through again with Leave a Light On, and it's like, I just keep, I don't know, I just... I got a passion for this. I can't stop. I don't want to go back to being a janitor. I don't want to strip and wax floors again. <laughs> Fuck no. I also don't think people realize how good your voice is. Whenever you hear you sing live, it's like, oh, it's listening to the actual recording. Thank you. Like, Thank you. Sounds exactly the same. I pride myself on on my live performance. And when we first started in 2000, it wasn't wasn't too solid. It's been something that I've gotten better at through the years. And uh, I'm I'm definitely grateful. There's a performance of ours we did and I hate watching myself live. My bass player is always like, let's go watch our shows again and like critique ourselves. And I'm like, oh, I'm too fragile, bro. Like, <laughs> I can't do this, man. I don't like that. We did this performance at uh, Hellfest. I think it was 20, like 2023 or 20, yeah, 2023. Um, and they aired it and I went and watched it. And it was the first time I was like, oh shit, we're tight. <laughs> I, I actually sound good live like fuck we kind of rip like it was the first time I literally sat on the tour later. bus yeah. everybody's asleep it's like four in the morning I'm watching on my cell phone and I'm like fuck it let's go <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm killing it first time I don't know if I'll ever have that experience again but it was like if, pe if people want to know like what we're about live go check that out Papa Roach Hellfest live <laughs> it's a it's a 
fucking cool performance. 